Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're gonna to be cooking some sweet bourbon glazed chicken legs. And since it's a little bit cold right now, we decided we're gonna cook these in the air fryer. So let's go ahead and get started on these chicken legs. Okay, here are our chicken legs. We got five on we're gonna cook up today. We've already washed them off and dried them. We're gonna go ahead and put us a coating of olive oil on these. I'm just gonna mix them around a little bit. Let's get a good coating all the way around. That's good. We're gonna be using a new seasoning today. This is by University of Q. This is their all-purpose rub. This is really good. I used it on a turkey, a fried turkey, this past Thanksgiving and it is some great stuff. He also has some brines that you can buy as well and I'll leave information below and show more sections that you can pick up this from him. Get us a good coating all the way around. Okay, our chicken legs are all nice and coated and we're gonna get our air fryer up to temp. We're gonna go ahead and get it preheated at 390 degrees for four minutes. Okay, the air fryer is now preheated. This is the 3.5 Paula Dean air fryer. Spray it down just a little bit. It's got some in it already, but I wanna put a little bit more in there. Place these chicken wings in there, excuse me, these chicken legs in there. Hopefully all these will fit. We're gonna make them fit. All right, put these back in here. And we're gonna leave it at 390 degrees. And we're gonna turn it to five minutes. And then we're gonna flip them over at the five minute mark. And I'll show you what we're gonna do from there. We're at the five minute mark, so we're gonna flip these over. It's getting some nice color to them already. Okay, we're gonna put them back in for another five minutes at 390 degrees. What are we gonna do now is we're going to back our temp down to 300. And we're gonna go for another six minutes and then we'll check the internal temp then. All right, it's been six minutes at 300, so we're gonna give these a check. Use our ink bird instant read thermometer here. And we wanna be at 165. And we are at one, 162. Let's try right here. That's not quite. We're gonna rotate these around a little bit. See so if we can get these to cook a little bit faster. Just about where we need to be at internally. Let's see. 
we're not quite there yet. We're gonna put it in there for another five minutes. Okay, we've been going about two or three minutes. I'm gonna pull these out a little bit and baste them with some of this sweet bourbon glaze. Uh, this is something that we actually purchased. I didn't, I didn't make this. If you ever, there are places like Myrtle Beach we've been to, we've seen them up in the mountains, places like that. It's called the Pepper Palace, and it's their sweet bourbon glaze. It is really good. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this to let it kind of set up, and then we'll put some more on it right before we bite into them. About two, three more minutes. Okay, let's give these another check here. See where we're at. 166, that's good enough for me. We're gonna take these off and let them sit for just a few minutes. All right, let's give this chicken a try. Look at that. The color on that is amazing. You can see this dripping off. Let's see if we can bite it without making a mess. Mm. Let's see. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. That is so, so, so good. Again, I've been wanting to try this sweet bourbon glaze for a while again if you're in Myrtle Beach or you can probably go online as well and see if you can find it at the Pepper Palace they got a lot of different sauces and rubs and so forth in their seasonings really good stuff along with the combination of the University of Q all-purpose rub those two amazing stuff again I've used this on turkey and chicken and I'm gonna use it on some ribs sometimes as well along with this sweet baby uh, sweet bourbon glaze I'm sure it's gonna be really, really good. This is very simple that you guys can do. Total was about 21 minutes, and I'll leave the information below in the show more section how I prepare these and the times and so forth. So give it a try, see how you like it. Make sure, again, internal temperature is 165. Sometimes I like to go a little closer to 170. That's really up to you, 165 is safe. Thank you so much for watching. For some reason, if you're not subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing. Until next time, God bless.